We have new information this morning about a U.S. Navy veteran who is detained in Iran. Michael White's family says he's been held captive in the country since last summer, and it echoes the case of our Roxana Saberi. In 2009, before joining CBS News, she was imprisoned in Iran on a false charge of spying for the CIA. Roxana was released after 100 days. She has spoken with White's mother and joins us now from London. Roxana, I am sure White's mother, uh, of all people, could really have heard from you and appreciated that conversation that you had. Tell us about what she said. Well, good morning, and I hope she appreciated it. It was a good conversation for me as well. Joanne White says she is begging Iran to free her son. She also told me she wants the Trump administration to speak with the Iranian authorities to secure his release. Iran's foreign ministry spokesman confirmed Wednesday that Iran arrested Michael White, quote, some time ago. He added that White is being investigated, though he didn't say for what. White's mother says her son had traveled to Iran three times to visit an Iranian woman he had met online. But the 46-year-old didn't return from his trip in July. She says it wasn't until about three weeks ago that the State Department told her he was detained. At about the same time, a former inmate who says he met White in prison broke the news of White's detention on Twitter. Ivar Farhadi told me White was suffering psychologically and was being held with dangerous criminals. The State Department has not commented on any ongoing efforts to secure White's release. Diana? And as we mentioned, this hits Clome close to you for because of the many reasons that you were held there for 100 days. You were held at a different prison. But based on your experience there, what could he be going through right now? There is a pattern. Typically, you're first put in solitary confinement when you're cut off from the outside world. You don't get any phone calls. You don't have access to an attorney, which is the experience that White had, according to the former inmate who met him in prison. You also undergo intense interrogations. In my case, I was blindfolded, facing a wall, and pressured to make a false confession. Prisoners also report being tortured, whether it's physical or psychological. The hardest part for me was to be in solitary confinement because you have no one to talk to except yourself and you have nothing to do except think and usually what you think about is how worried your family is about mm -hmm. you, especially when they don't know where you are and they could even think you're dead, mm -hmm. which all makes you a lot more vulnerable to the pressures of prison. Roxana, this is very chilling just hearing you talk about this and I know we got to go, but why did they think you were a spy to begin with? Uh, you know, to this day, I'm not certain. Um, I do know that it is a fairly common accusation that the Iranian authorities make against dual nationals, Iranian Americans, as well as Americans. And they often fabricate evidence and put you under pressure, as I said, to make false confessions. Mm. And without an attorney, it's very hard to defend yourself. All right. Roxana, thank you. Extraordinary insight on what Michael White and his family are going through. Thank you so much.